Okay, so here we go. Um, how do we start the rec recording? Because it was going past 12 minutes already. Okay, so uh, so basically that's going to repeat that signal because I don't want to get hit too far. So now we're going to go back here. We're going to place. Uh, pist sticky pistons. Oh, we have it. I'm enjoying. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is boom, place it like this. Um, next, we're gonna have it like this. Place it like here. Now these these are temporary, by the way. I don't know another way to do this. So these are just temporary pistons, like here. Oops, uh, four, four. You gotta have four. Okay. So now you're gonna want to take pulse them, or zero tick pulse them, I think. Like that, and then you're gonna have. Uh, these here, break these back pistons if needed, place these here, you're obviously going to need a big area, uh, <laughs> and now you just need to hook that, these up, you got to have immovable bo blocks by the way, so basically now what we're going to do is 6 on this side, 6 on this side, and then 6 on the bottom side, and then 6 on the other side right here. Like so, like that. Boom. Now you're gonna place two here. We're gonna place that on all the, all the other ones. We we'll have one tick on the outer edge, and then four ticks here, and then like that on every single one, like that. And then you're gonna hook. Ignore the fact that I just didn't put a four tick repeater on the top one. Be sure not to do that. Okay, make sure all your second pistons have a four tick repeater next to them. These up really simply. Uh, I would suggest doing it um, sequent at the same time. So make sure they have the same tick pulse, I guess you could say. So basically, they're going at the same speed. So they're going to extend and retract at the same exact time. Like this side won't go further faster, and this side won't go further faster. Or back, or go further. Like, you have to have them in sequence, basically. <sighs> is what I'm trying to say. <sighs> so, you could do it like this. This is really simple. Uh, you. This is probably the easiest way to do it. Uh, again, make sure you don't connect the wires. Make sure they're at the same tick. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so just enough. So now, now if we... Oops. <laughs> okay. So I built this wrong. Uh, we have to switch this around. Oops. <laughs> okay. Hello. Uh, right back on that. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Uh, this time, my creative redstone wall. So, this one is a tree farm. And... It's a tree farm that you get more saplings than you use, so that's one thing. And then it's got a TNT chamber, which is optional. And the way it's set up is quite simple, actually. You got multiple double pistol extenders going with each other, and they're going across, pushing in all these leaves. So if you use a piston, piston, and a 
lever, and you don't have to use a lever. But here, for an example, if you use a piston and then use it with any redstone pulse and then into a leaf, it breaks it. And you have the same amount of chance as if you break it with your hands to get a sapling or a stick. So, so with that knowledge, we can make a leaf crusher using this. Uh, it's got four, no, eight double piston extenders, four on each side, and it's using two double piston extender layouts to push all these slime blocks and honey blocks connected with fence, like fences in each one, to push all these leaves. And then we've got the collection system that goes into these hoppers, goes around into the sorting system, sorting out all the sticks from it, and then it goes into this dropper, which gets powered whenever it gets it, when it gets items in here, gets powered, and then gets in this clock. If there isn't anything, then the clock turns off. And then it goes into here, and then it goes right down to here, which I have this really smart system set up, so it will detect if it has anything here. And it goes into this one. That one goes into here, powering these two to make a clock. And these power into here. This one powers this block, which powers this, but won't power this fence. And because we need this fence because in this setup here, if we place a block here, I mean a sapling, and it grows, it has a chance of spawning a leaf here, but if we have a fence, it blocks that. But it uses a little bit more uh, uh, bone meal. So you gotta have a good in income of bone meal. That's one thing. And then the TNT chamber, of course I said, was optional. Uh, you could have one that's really close to it and then has like a timer to let the TNT out. Or you could have something like this, which is really high up, has a timer set so you can collect the items before it blows up again. And then, of course, these conveyor belts are also optional. I was just testing out stone in here. So on to the tutorial. So first things first, you want to build the thing that pushes all these here. So you're going to start with a dirt block, a dispenser, uh, here, right here. You're going to have, actually this is an MF room, okay, right here. Dispenser going into that dirt block, a lever on top, right there, and then you're going to have some, something like this here. This is, of course, optional if you're able to create a stoppable clock that's really fast, then go ahead. Uh, it's your choice. Anyway, we're going to have something like that to where we have a block right here. You have that there, boom, 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 there, like this, and that should make a clock. Now, of course, you gotta reset it. There we go. That should work now. That should have enough, and it's going to try and place an item. So here, we gonna, we're gonna put some bone meal, and you're gonna look at my bottom right. See, dispenser fails. Now, if I put, see, it's bone it now. Don't think, I think it has to be, yeah, it has to be into it. Okay, so that's one thing. There we go. Now, of course, the sapling's going to be here. So, next, you're going to put up four, to, four pistons. And then you're going to need an observer, observer, right here. And what this observer is going to do is go into a one tick pulse that's going to loop around into this system which pushes and this won't detect the piston right after because this will fire once, it will detect when the tree grows, then it will fire once. Um, the observer. So it will detect when the tree grows, 
and then it will go through, but this thing will be left up. But when this one, like, the piston re-extends because it's pushing the blocks here, it, it will, the observer will detect it, and then will fire right back, but instead of, uh, of doing another pulse and sending another pulse to this to make a loop, it pulls it back down. So I think I made that sort of clear. Uh, <laughs> probably didn't though. Just trying to though. So we're gonna create that here. You're gonna need a sticky piston. So you're gonna have to have access to slime and honey blocks. So that's one thing. So, oops, uh, piston. There we go. You're going to have a block like that. You're going to have a redstone. You're going to have a block here. A block like that. A, a, um, a repeater. A, next you're going to put a redstone line here. That you're gonna have it going looping around like this. You're gonna have it have it go down here, right at that block, and then you're gonna have it go into two different sections. So this one will have redstone like that. And oops, let's see. Redstone like that. And going into here, and have a block down here with the redstone. Then you're gonna have one there, and you're going to have one here and here, like that. So that's how you build that. So it's kind of like a one. That one goes into these two. These, this one goes into that one. That one. And that one goes into that one. So that's how it works. So I'm gonna have it like this. Like that. There we go. And that's that's your main main part of the system. So next what you want to do is get some honey blocks, some some fence gates. Oak fence gates you're gonna have you're gonna want uh one, two, three, four, five, six, you're gonna want twelve. 24. You're gonna want 24 of these. Uh, you might want you might want to get more um, in case you want to build a little bit more of the leaf crushing. But honestly, you don't need it if you get a surplus of saplings. Next, what you're gonna want to do is take your block of choice and loop it around. Loop this around. Um, put a repeater. Set to four ticks, and then I believe just gotta yeah. So basically, in this next circuit, it's going to come around. It's gonna go through once, and but this will be left extended. Then it comes comes around a little bit later, and then re retracts all that, so a tree can grow again, and it, you can get your leaves. So let's do that, one, two, three, four, and then here we're going to have a block here, a redstone, one, two, three, four, and have four of these on four ticks. And then like this, you can have two redstone here, and then this line here will be going into your leaf crushers. So basically here, I'm going to get a sapling. It can only work with oak, by the way. One, two, three, boom, like that. I'm gonna have one, two, three, and then place one. So basically, yeah, like this. You're gonna have to have like, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven blocks up and you're gonna have to have a block there. Then when it grows, right here, should grow right there. 
Okay, so now you're gonna have your leaf crushers. It should be the fence gates should be on the outer edge right here. That way you maximize how much you can get. You have place one, two, three, one, two, three, and oops, one, one, two, like that. And you're gonna do that again. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Like, like so. Here, okay, so it looks like there's five, so I don't think built this one. Yeah, okay, so yeah, this one's not needed. I just found it out. <laughs> okay, so you only need five wide, apparently. Uh, so that's gonna make it a little awkward, but first you're gonna have, oops, you know, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Boom, 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 and honey blocks alternating basically on the other side, and that's how you got, there you go, that's your basic part, and then you're going to want a double piston extender, so here we go, so I fix it, and you just have to have the observer facing this. Uh, just a quick little note, you have to have the observer and dispenser facing it. Um, and you have to have this line above this. <laughs> uh, here, let's do this real quick. It's really simple too. Just have it above, like that. And like that. And then that way the blocks come through. Okay, so we got that figured out. Uh, we have to have the pistons facing either or direction. It actually doesn't really matter as long as you have a one tick balls going into those pistons. If you don't, um, and you have just a regular, regular um, thing, and then you put it here. It, it messes up the entire thing. So be sure not to do that. Okay, that messes up your entire groove. Apparently everything is stuck. Um here. So we're going to rebuild this, <laughs> if you have already known how to do it, yikes, I'm going to have to cut this up. So. Now, what you want to do after you got all these, you can open them or close them, I'm pretty sure. Let's just test that out. Yep, it works just fine. So you can have them open, uh, that way items don't get sh stuck in between the trap doors or on top of them. Because um, they can. If it's the, like, the top, very, very top. Um tree part like up here it could get it could bounce onto that but I wouldn't worry about it too much now so if you use this I think yeah it's using it it's gonna push away it's gonna break it and then it's gonna have its surplus make sure make sure to have an income of bony that's one important thing for sure. Now, 
Oops, I forgot to put that there. You have to have a redstone here, by the way. Uh, I had to build that. And also about that zero tick thing. Here, I'll show you. I mean, one tick. So that goes into a, piston, a uh, repeater. That repeater goes into a block, which powers this. And that, because it's one there for one tick, uses this. So it has to be one tick. So here we go. So let's do that again. That and that pushes, push and comes back, and then it, it's gonna do it again like that. And then that's that's your tree farm. That's your main tree farm. Now you can hook it up to something, um, but for right now, um, you will need to have hoppers. You're gonna have to have an access to a lot of iron too. So that's one thing. So now what you want to do is either have a collection system, like um, let's get some chests, chests. You want to have a collection system like this and then do it like a manual way and then have the chests here <laughs> like that so it collects all the items or you could have a different way. So here, it's going to go into this, like here. You're going to have to have, you're going to have to want this block open. You're going to have to have a trapdoor right on top of you, basically. Like right here, you're going to have to open it. That way, no leaves can spawn there. So now, what you want to do is get yourself some droppers and then put the dropper here and then put another dropper here so now because this is a, this is an immovable block a block entity entity so it can since this is the hopper is an immovable block entity it won't push anything so it's just gonna glide across it. Same with droppers. Because it has MBT data. Just letting you know. So now we gotta have the detection system. So you're gonna need some comparators. Comparators. Like there. Um, you're gonna have it into a block. You're gonna want a sticky piston. Sticky piston right there into here. You're gonna want a something like that, and then you're gonna want to go under this like there. Oops, I built this wrong. You're gonna have to want to go into here. I can't get for the life of me put it where I want it to go. Huh. Okay. One second. Like that. You don't want a repeater. Sorry about this. You don't want a repeater into a redstone. And then you are gonna want this to be facing like this. And then it goes into this right here. Like that, and then you're gonna want a block there so it can power that. So if there's any bone meal, it's gonna constant suspense, but it won't go past this one. I think I thought. Oh yeah, because it's constantly okay. So yeah. Also this dropper. Yeah. So you're gonna have to have that block empty, by the way. Okay, so now, now you've got that done. You put your thing here, so you're gonna want that chain leading into anything. I don't, so here. Simple conveyor system right here. Um, it is tileable. I, I don't think tileable, but like, can stack. it's stackable. There we go, that's what I meant to say for up to 15 high, I believe. 
So, what you're going to want to do is put a redstone torch there, a block like this, a redstone block, a uh, redstone, go into that one, in, into this one, and into this one. And then you're going to want one here. And you're going to do this right here. Boom, like that. So that's what you're going to do. It's going to look like this around there. And then, so I'm going to get a sapling. So basically, that's going to do that. So I'm going to get an, another detection system up. I'm going to go with that into a Actually, like this. That's how you do it. Okay, so basically you can do this into a block and into a a um, redstone. And then you can put that redstone like that and you can have an observer. Uh, where do you want to put this? I think it was actually indented into the ground. So... So, this part is a little tricky because it's hard to place the stuff where you want it to be placed. So, you want it to be like this. And then you want to put your comparator here. Like, break that block. Place a block there. Going into an uh, Going into a redstone, but actually, here, I'm going to have to have it like this, like that, like that, you have a sticky piston, like that, having a observer facing that way, and then like that. That way it gets powered. And then goes into that block. And then let's see if we can test this out. Like that. And there was a way you got it here. So I think it's one more here. Block. Redstone repeater. Block. Redstone dust. Redstone dust. And I believe that's the farm itself. So if you get that, yes, that's 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 how you get that, basically. So let's get all the bone meal out. That's going to get annoying. <laughs> so now you got your system working. So here it goes. You're going to place the satellites there. Doesn't just keep on going. May look like that. It's going to keep dispensing. And yeah, it's going to do that sometimes. So, uh, there's the tree farm, and oops, I didn't really do a great job explaining it. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope that was kind of helpful, I mean, uh, I didn't do a great job explaining it, but I, hopefully, hopefully I did it as well as I could. You can implement the sorting system, but this is the simplest, because everyone likes simple. This is the simplest it can get. Of course, you can hook it up to a blast chamber. Um, this does not work with uh, um, bedrock, and it only works with 1.15 and up. And here's my blast chamber. It doesn't really matter what blast chamber you have. Basically, it 
you just place your saplings down and it bone meals it right here like this it goes ahead and bone meal it and then of course if you get one a little bit faster than the other that's fine Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. And if you don't want to miss any more videos of mine, um, just go ahead and hit that bell. Uh, there is ways to improve it. Uh, just think of your own, I guess. <laughs> improve. Um, this is just a really simple oak one. Oak only. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great evening. Uh, at morning or noon. And anyway, see you later. Bye bye.